asked. Well, unfortunately, it looks like the conclusion of the growing season across much of the area. We have a freeze warning that will go into effect. That's currently in effect 10 o'clock to 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And we got some frigid temperatures to talk about. Clear skies, calm winds. That's the perfect ingredients for these temperatures to continue to plummet beyond the freezing mark, even deeper into the 20s. Clear skies right now on light dual pole Doppler radar. And yes, we do have some snow chances to talk about for parts of the area. We have a winter was winter weather advisory in place for locations north and west of the metro, but it does include Madison County. They have the best opportunity of seeing maybe an inch, maybe a couple of inches of snow by the time we wrap up Sunday afternoon. Currently, clear skies right now, start lit conditions, temperatures in the lower 30s. It feels like the lower 20s. That is what you need to dress for. And for tonight, we're looking at temperatures starting in the mid to lower 20s, 26 degrees with a light northeast wind about 5 to 15 miles an hour. With clear skies around that time, mid to upper 20s widespread. So the first hard freeze of the season, but cloud coverage is going to be building as we approach daybreak for tomorrow uh, morning. Then current model data is trying to squeeze out maybe a rain snow mix up to the north and west. I believe this strip of uh, precipitation will be holding further up to the north, but nevertheless, check out the temperatures mid 30s by that time. So more than likely, if anything does fall, it will be in liquid variety, but the snow chances will be likely and sooner in portions of northeast Nebraska. Most of us, especially for communities south of I-80 through most of Saturday, will be dry and just cloudy and cold. So that's good news for any tailgaters. If you have plans ahead to the homecoming game, the Purdue Boilermakers coming into town, 2.30 kickoff, upper 30s, a lot of cloud coverage with a north wind about 10 to 20 miles an hour, upper 30s all game long. Now our best opportunity to see some snow will be approaching late Saturday, post midnight into early Sunday. Current model data has trying to simulate maybe some brief bursts of light to moderate snow getting closer to one and two o'clock. But again, it's not a classic winter storm setup, so we could see areas of lift more likely to produce those snow showers south of I-80 closer to the Kansas border before things wrap up and dry out by the time we approach Sunday uh, afternoon. Now the updated to uh, to that model data showing anywhere between a half an inch upwards to an inch where we have the advisory, maybe upwards to one to three inches. And that is what we're going with going forecast when it comes to our snowfall expectations anywhere between a flurry to maybe a half an inch to a quick dusting on your front lawn by the time you're waking up for Sunday into early, or Sunday uh, afternoon. A lot of sunshine Monday, then Halloween. Trick-or-treaters, they're going to need the coats. Upper 30s by that time.